Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl born in June. How you doing or whatever? Hey kings and queens. So today, right, we are <laughs> Okay, see what happened was, right? I was watching Anthony O'Neill and that's my boy. And of course, from Anthony's page, I ended up on Dave Ramsey's page. And so because I ended up on Dave Ramsey's page, I started listening to a few things. And they've been saying that for weeks during the pandemic, hey, Financial Peace University is free. Me being me, I was like, listen, I'm almost out of debt. I'm good. I already got my $1,000 saved. So like, your little baby steps, I've, I've been doing that. I don't need your help. I've been, I've been a real one, okay? <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, I don't know what to do after I've gotten out of debt. Like, I know they say to invest. How? I don't know. Um, you also have to remember, I live in Korea. I'm in the military. This is, you know, I'm not in the States. I can't do certain things that you guys um, in the States have the opportunity to do because, you know, I, I just don't know the language. And um, that language barrier, you know, creates a thing. And then also um, being in the military and living overseas, while working in the military, there's the restrictions already that was provided on us, you know, while living in the States. And I'm pretty sure it's more while living in, um, you know, a foreign country. So I didn't want to get into that um, area and dibbling and dabbling that. But what? <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, can get a second income, but I do YouTube. So that's fine with me. Um, so, you know, watching Anthony O'Neill, went to Dave Ramsey, and, you know, started watching Financial Peace University, because they have a 14-day trial, it's a plug, not for me, but it's, it is what it is, and I watch Baby Step 1, you know, Baby Step 1, because, <laughs> girl, got the book, Baby Step 1 was Save the Thousand Dollar Emergency, y'all know I'm doing my 10K challenge and Five Dollar challenge, and if you know, those are actually me saving for my emergency those are my emergency fund the 10k was my emergency fund um so if you want to check out that i'm gonna click the link i'm gonna leave the link up top um and the five dollar was for me to travel somewhere the five dollar challenge was for me to travel somewhere but of course corona got us stuck in the house so <laughs> we'll see um but yeah so step one was to save a thousand dollars emergency and i was like got that okay i got that times two okay because i have some extra money in my bank account and i also have the 10k challenge that i'm saving here um but then i decided hey debt free for my birthday so i'm using that money in the bank account to pay off a debt that i have um that will make that my last and final debt guys <laughs> so Moved on from step one to step two, which is a debt snowball, which says pay off all your debt except the home because that's a large um, bill. You know, most of the homes are like 150, 200K. So one of the steps in there, right guys, so to cut up your credit cards. And I'm not gonna lie, like I low-key have a little bit of anxiety doing this step because like, <sighs> At this point, my credit cards are just in case. But here's another thing that I realized, right? So during this pandemic or whatever, everyone's like, oh, you know, don't use cash because, you know, transfers of germs and stuff. Completely understandable. Makes complete sense. The problem now is that I am going back to using my credit card. And so my mindset is slowly triggering to just use it whenever you want. Like this week, right? It is Thursday today. The week has not finished. I've already used my $10. I've used my credit card to buy multiple different food, which I'm still within budget, thankfully. However, I am just spending to spend. I'm just spending to spend, and I don't feel like I have um, that accountability factor. I don't feel like I do. And so that's the problem are one of the problems is that I don't have that accountability. So I can't cut up all my credit cards. Um, one of these is actually my um, travel card, which is something that the government gives to you to travel when you're PCSing, which is this card right here. 
when you're PCSing from one duty location to another, you actually buy like your plane ticket um, with this card or like hotels with this card, things like that that you will have to you pay for on this card. And so because of that, I can't cut up this card, this credit card. So this one has to stay how it is. Um, but this one is paid off and I don't pay interest on it at all. So if, um, yeah, I make sure, and I work in finance, so I'm make sure this get paid. You know, if there's one thing that being in finance does do in the military, well, finance in the military, there is a difference between, um, actual world finance and military finance. Just letting y'all know. But so I can't cut up this card, but I can cut up all the other ones that's in my name. So I'm going to set this one off to the side so I don't get like sidetracked and cut it but in in my um in my purse this is my wallet this is my Michael Kors wallet my parents bought it for me for a graduation and yeah so in here I have one I have my Best Buy card my Best Buy card is this one I have my um Navy Fed credit card which that is this is the one that like everything goes on that I am just not ready for. I'm just I'm just not ready for it. Then I also have my Barclay Apple Rewards card, which I bought my computer with that one about five, six years ago. Um I have a credit card that my parents gave me for emergency. So I have that card. What else do I have? I don't think I have a lot. It's just the membership cards. So I have four cards, okay, four. And today, we're gonna cut them up. So, ah! <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. Some of these cards I can cut up easy because I just don't use them on a regular day-to-day -day basis. So this one from my parents, I can literally cut it in like the G2G. Like, this is my parents' card. I don't ever use it, you know? If I don't have those kind of emergencies where I need to use it so this one is hella easy for me to cut up like that's nothing okay let me move the city bank card because I almost picked it up my Barclay card barely use that one either like nothing to me because it doesn't take it's not like I never use it I think I used it one time recently and that was before I even put myself on a budget so this was last year in 2019 I started using it again after like two or three years because in my mind I have to use you know credit cards to pay for stuff so in my mind <laughs> I was using you know that for that reason my best buy card I'm not gonna lie I bought my tv with my best buy card I bought um what is that about my Best Buy card? About my TV, my TV stands with my Best Buy card. Um, yeah, and my vacuum with my Best Buy card. What else about my Best Buy card? I don't know all the things about my Best Buy card, but you know where all those things are. My attachment to hang the TV is at my parents' house. My TV is at my parents' house, and my vacuum is in storage because I live in Korea now, and I couldn't bring all my stuff here. So all that stuff is in storage. So you know what? I don't need this right now. I just bought my mama her um, Apple Watch for Mother's Day. You know what I did? Paid cash, baby. Um, actually used a credit card to pay for it and then paid off the credit card so I can get the cash back. Um, that's not right. I know, I know, I know. It's not right. But listen, I got that cash back and I was hella excited. And I think that's another thing that's holding me back and holding other people back you know because we have those um cash back moments i you know am like bruh i can get points with this like why would i cut this up you know you know what i'm saying like why would i cut this up? i can get points with this so <laughs> so that's one of the things right and then oof, here's the thing with this card too this is my main card this is the main card that i use every day so i started using this card to buy everything that's what i'm saying i bought um, pretzels I bought ice cream I bought like snacks like I've been using this card like crazy and I have a budget and I'm going out of budget simply because we're in a pandemic completely understandable but I'm going over my budget <gasps> this low-key 
hurts. And here's the thing. I told them. I called my bank and I was like, yo, I lost my card. Send me a new one. <laughs> and I just cut it up. <sighs> I just cut it up. I told my bank. I was like, listen. I lost my card. Send me a new one. And they did. You know, they did. It took them three weeks and they did. But now I just cut up all my cards. And basically, I'm going to check it off of my Financial Peace University, um, you know, diddle that that says, hey, did you complete this? I'm going to be like, yes, yes, I did. <sighs> so, here we are, guys. Yeah. So, I just wanted to make this video. <sighs> I'm literally following Dave Ramsey's step. So, I'm on baby step number two right now. I can't move on to baby step number three until, until one july because that is when my um debt is completely paid off but just know um the month of june i'm basically celebrating it because if you guys know anything about my budget i am well i don't think i told you guys i do have debt i just don't have um commercial debt does that make sense i don't have a car payment i don't have um student loans i don't have credit card debt um, the payment I have is with the government. Um, when you move, you can have the options to take out. Basically, they're kind of like loans, but they're interest-free loans with the government. And I took out two of those, and that was to basically help me move into my apartment to pay for a security deposit and also first month's rent, which I need to think about for when I'm going to my next place, my next dude location. Crazy. So, um... I do have those that and so I am paying them off in the month of June for my birthday talk to your girl what's up what's up so um the government actually takes that money out of my paycheck before I even see it so I don't write that I'm putting anything towards debt on my um budget because it's already taken out before I even get my check and I've, I've said that in my videos before before I even get my check that money is taken out so June will be my last payment, okay? And I will be paying $1,512 because like I said, I have a little bit extra in my account to pay off that debt and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm hella excited for June. It's my birthday month. The channel's called Born in June for a reason. But yeah, that was me cutting up my debt, y'all. Cutting up my debt. Ooh. But that was me cutting up my credit cards. And then you guys know, like, I'm trying Dave Ramsey and I'm following the process by damn. Okay? Damn. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you're inspired. I hope this helped you. If you like the girls' channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below what you think. What are your goals? You know, I have to write down my goals for what I want to be. Um, what are your goals? Make sure you like the video and share with somebody. Inspire somebody else. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Spare fingers. <laughs> we out. How you won't get it? I'm out there, huh? Out of my mind. Can't even talk. Can't even walk. That little thing.